Hey everybody, this is Ashley Jones. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to import an image of your quilt block and design your quilting right on top of your image. So I'm using my quilt embellisher and built-in designs into the software um, and features that come with my quilt embellisher. So to um, bring in an image of my quilt block, I first took a photograph of my quilt block as flat as I could and got it to my computer. So now I'm going to use my file and load backdrop option and then locate that image of my quilt block. And then I'm going to say open. Now, uh, when I click over here to the backdrop option, um, it tells me that this image, the entire image, is a 34 inch uh, image. And my block is not that big. So I need to make sure I define the scale. So over here to the left, underneath the backdrop tool, I'm going to use the define scale option. And now I know that my block is. Uh, a 12 inch finished block so from raw edge to raw edge it's 12 and a half inches so I'm going to pick a point on my block and uh, right at the raw edge make sure you're not putting at the edge of the picture here so at the edge of the uh, quilt block and then drag my mouse while holding down my uh, mouse click to the other side to the raw edge of my block and when I release, it asks me the size of this um, area. So it's a 12.5 for my block. You'll put in your block information and then click OK. And it resizes it automatically. Now, don't worry about this over here. It says 12.99. That's because if I zoom back in, it's actually measuring the entire uh, backdrop, which includes a little bit of the table in my image. Uh, so when we did the defined scale, you are marking the actual quilt block. So it's 12 and a half. And that makes the... Um, the image, the entire image, this uh, 12.99. Okay, so now let's start um, embellishing our block. The next thing that I would do before I added a quilting design would uh, be to adjust the lightness over here to the upper right. This is gonna lighten up your quilt block so that you can just see your designs uh, more easily on your quilt block. So now there's uh, different ways to do quilting in My Quilt Embellisher. If you have designs from an outside source, you can use file and merge to import those designs onto the screen. So file and merge if you've got a quilting design from a different designer that you want to use. You can also use the built-in embellishments or these options here are quilting fills. So I'm going to show you both methods so you'll be able to see um, what it's like to use both the embellishments and the quilting fills. So let's start with the embellishment. So when I click on this little gift box icon, each of these categories have four quilting designs that are um, for a triangle, rectangle, circle, and a square. So they correspond, they match, whatever you wanna say, but they're four of the same designs to fit your different shapes in your blocks. So I am going to choose uh, this one for the crisscross here and this uh, block for my center option. So now when that brings it on the screen, I could resize this to fill my entire block if I wanted to. The software recalculates the stitches or I actually just wanted it in this centerpiece. So I'm going to do my undo key and just place that right over the center of my block. Now, if you wanted to use some of the other uh, elements that match, you can go back into that little gift box icon and uh, maybe use these to fit. Let's grab this one for a triangle. And it puts it right on top. So I'm going to hover until it turns to a hand and then I can slide that up here. So this uh, I can also resize if I want to fit into my shape here. And I'm probably a little bit smaller. I need to make sure I stay off my quarter inch seam there. Okay. Now I could continue with these designs and design my whole quilt block, but let's use these fills uh, that are here. So these uh, six icons here are all quilting fills, so you have to have a shape for them to fill. So um, let's start here with say this rectangle. 
So in order to fill this with one of these quilting fills, we have to first draw the shape because this is an image. The software is just allowing you to use it for tracing. So I'm going to go up to my artwork tools here in the top center. And for the rectangle, I'm just going to choose the rectangle option and then click and drag to make my rectangle. Okay, and now if you want to make sure that you're precise, zoom in. Use your zoom tool and make sure that your square is precise. You can see that zoomed out, it looked like I had it in a great uh, location, but when I'm zoomed in here, I'm a little bit off on my size here. So I would adjust that to make sure my fill is going to uh, fit in perfectly. Um, and I'm actually going to come off my seam just slightly because I'm not square here. <laughs> and so, which is not uh, unusual for me. And so I want to make sure that it fits in that area nicely. Okay, so now that I have a rectangle, I can click on any of these options. So let's uh, start with the first one. If I click the first one, I've got a list of options I can choose from. So you see one you like, you click OK and it fills that area, okay? Now, if you don't like how tight uh, the quilting is, you can adjust that by changing the stitch pattern length here. And so now you can see that I have um, adjusted it to be a little more open. Now, don't worry about this dimensional option here. You may not have it. Um, it actually, I think, is a perfect embroidery pro feature. So if you don't have that, don't worry about it, okay? Now, let's... Uh, do another option. So now I could copy and paste this to my other rectangles if I wanted, but if you want to do something different, let's just play around. I'm going to do all kinds of different things here. Okay, so now for this area here, let's say you wanted quilting to be the same across both this dark and this light block. If I go back here, choose my rectangle again, and then click and drag a full square. Um, and again, I would stay off of my seam allowance. I'm not being perfect here. I'm just showing you how to use the features. You uh, make sure yours is exactly like you like for your quilting. Okay. So now that I've drawn my square, I'm going to click my select tool and then choose from another one of these options. So let's just do this with the stippling here. Okay. So perfect. Got stippling in this area. Okay. Now let's do uh, this triangle here. So now if you want these triangles to be separate, um, we do have a triangle drawing tool, um, but it makes uh, like an isosceles type triangle and you have to get it perfect to get that right angle. So I have to say that it is much easier for my right triangles to just draw. So with our artwork tool here, I'm going to choose my pen and I'm going to draw my rectangle shape here. So I'm going to click, click, click and click and that will give me a triangle shape I choose my select tool and now let's fill that with a different fill so these advanced stippling options here choose one you like click OK it fills it over here you can adjust the pattern length if you want it to be um, more open so same thing here you could either take this triangle here and copy it and paste it or you could redraw so let's copy paste and let's uh, flip this and flip it again so it mirror images over here. And now I could change that to a different option if I want. So let's just choose, say, this one. And now I've got different quilting here. And you can see these are two separate designs that meet right there at your seam. Okay. So uh, if you wanted this to be all the same quilting, you would draw a square and fill that with the quilting. So let's do that for this bottom corner here. So let's go back and choose the rectangle here, click and drag to make my, tr my square. And then let's choose an option. So these two options here um, are my last two. This one is an echo, so you have to have a shape to echo. That's why it's not highlighted. And so here I just filled it with a contour. And then if you want that to contour a different shape, we could choose from here, like let's make that uh, the shape of a star. And that is super dense again. So I'm gonna increase uh, this number here. So let's double it. And you can see it opens it up. Okay, so that's how you use uh, the quilting fills and the embellishments in My Quilt Embellisher to embellish your quilt block on an image. Now, a couple of other things. If you want to change the direction of the stitches, so let's select this triangle here, 
click on the shape tool and you'll see I have a yellow line with the two black dots. One is under my uh, little red dot, so I'm just going to slide that. That's my stop point, so make sure you put that back. But if I drag this angle line, say like this, and then do a right mouse click to set um, uh, under an enter, sorry, or the right mouse click and update path. And you can see it adjusted the angle of my stitches. So you certainly can do that with any of these. So here you can see my yellow angle line. If I wanted this to be um, a different angle, right mouse click and update path or your enter key. And it changes the direction of these fills. Okay, so just another uh, little tip. And then once you've done all of your designing, you want to do file and save as um, for this quilt block. This particular block is a 12 by 12, so it won't fit in my entire block, but if it, in my entire hoop, if it's smaller um, or will fit in a hoop that you have, you can do save as, it'll save everything. But I've got this particular block selected. So when I do my save as, um, if I click this selection only, it will select save just that one uh, quilting that I have selected. So if you're working with a block that's bigger than your hoop, you're likely going to quilt these in separate pieces. You could even select two or three of them. So like this, all of these would fit in my uh, hoop. So I can select all of those, say file, save as, and if I click this selection only, it will only save those selected pieces instead of the whole block. Now to get this lined up, I would print a template. Uh, this is going to print actual size and it will help you get your, um, your designs lined up. Okay, so that's just a couple of tips for um, getting your blocks quilted and designing your quilt design based on your exact block. Hope you enjoyed this video.